Now, if there's one thing I learned in this quarantine is that I can't avoid the trend forever. It's self-portrait time. What's up guys, welcome back to another video. As you can see, we're in my backyard, not the usual setup. And this is because today we're gonna to be taking self portraits. I avoided the trend forever, but it's time for a new photo. I look a lot different than how I used to look. So I need a new profile pic for pretty much all of my social media. So that's pretty much what we're gonna be doing today. I'm gonna to be showing you guys some tips that I use to take my self portraits. We're gonna be using these beautiful fall colors to uh, really enhance those photos. So uh, let's get into it. Okay, now the first tip I have for you guys is all about the phone. If your app has a Wi-Fi, if your app has a flip screen or anything that will help you be able to compose yourself and shape yourself for these photos, then you wanna make sure you use that. So my camera, the EOS R, does have a Wi-Fi feature. So I'm gonna connect to that and it's really gonna help me compose my image because I can just look at my phone instead of having to get up. And while I'm actually in the position, I can look at my phone, compose the image and get it set up. So if your camera does have one of these features, make sure to search it up, figure out how to connect to Wi-Fi to your camera and use this when taking self portraits. This is a must, ah, bug on me. You can also connect it to your computer via cable, USB-C or whatever your camera supports, but make sure you use this. Perfect, so now I'm in my phone recording, being able to control all my image compositions. Let's start taking some self-portraits. So right now what I'm doing is I'm just gonna put a bunch of leaves to kind of surround my head. Really, the self-portrait thing is all about experimenting with uh, your composition, so. So we're able to grab some photos in that spot. Now we're gonna move on to something a little less fall themed and a little more general for all your photo shoots. Okay, so we're here at the second location, AK. We literally just moved three feet. Now, this tip is gonna be all about giving your photos good composition. So I think you wanna create depth. We wanna create contrast in our images. So, ways we can create depth. First of all, having a really fast lens always helps. Having a lens f1.8, 1.4. Hello, Dax of the past, it's Dax of the future. Make sure when you're shooting and you want some depth, always use a fast lens. Right here, I have my 18 to 35. Sigma 1.8, the lower the number, the better, and the more depth you're gonna create. Also, don't be scared to use a really long lens, like 100 mil, uh, 200 mil, something around that, because that'll also add a lot of compression. Back to you. But don't forget about the foreground. If you isolate your subject from the foreground, it'll also help. So we're gonna use a couple little tips. We're gonna find some things in my house that we can use to add things into the foreground and also add things into the background, but our background's already pretty good. So just the foreground, that'll help us create that depth. Okay, so we are here on the phone cam and we're gonna search for some props. Specifically, we are looking for glass to create kind of a blur look in the photos. I found this right here. It would work pretty well. So I'm just gonna place these pretty much right in front of the lens like this. And this will help create that nice depth in the image, isolating us. If we're sitting on that chair, we're nice and far from these glasses. So it'll create that nice depth. Okay guys, so as you can see here, we are creating a lot of depth with our image. We've thrown things in the foreground and we also have our background, which is the trees, the leaves, the beautiful colors of fall. So that's pretty much how we're gonna be taking this photo, making minor adjustments, moving the glasses around, moving the camera around, up, down, angles, things like that. But you really just wanna create that depth in your self portraits because that is what's gonna differentiate yourself from people realizing it's a self-portrait, but also from looking like an amateur photo, like a literally just snap and go photo, you actually put thought into this and you've created depth using these elements. Okay guys, so we've migrated to my sister's room for the final photos. I know the fall colors are beautiful. We could take all the photos outside, but I wanna show you guys a little bit of variety in these self-portraits. And the reason we came here is because she has, come on, 
LED lights. So we're gonna take advantage of this. If you guys do have LED lights, always good to take photos with them. Because you know, the more interesting lighting you have, the better the photos are gonna come out. So for this final tip, we're gonna be talking about posing. Okay, so when we're talking about posing, there is one thing that I always use, and I've talked about this in my old videos, how to take better selfies, is Instagram. Pretty much, when it comes to posing, and if you're not a professional model and you don't know those go-to poses that you look good in, because everyone looks good in different poses, remember that. I like to go to Instagram, search up modeling, model men, depending on if you're men or women, model. Look through the photos and look at how the people are posing and how they look good, and just try to replicate that, really. That's pretty much how anyone learns anything, is by looking at the best and practicing and replicating it. So that's pretty much all I can give you. So that's really which what I do. Point is, look at the poses. So like right here, I have this woman here. She's a little overexposed, but I hope you guys can see that. She's got her arm over her head. And obviously this is more of a woman's pose. I wouldn't be doing this, but use that and kind of go through, look at these photos and practice. That's all I can tell you, practice. So we're gonna take some photos. We're gonna use these cool LED lights and I'm also gonna throw in a couple more lights. This is the setup we have, the camera. The mirror, LED lights in the back. I probably should have closed that door for all of this, but it's too late. Camera with a little tilt to add some drama to it. I'm pretty much stuck right in here. But yeah, we're gonna grab the rest of those photos and then we're gonna hop on the computer. I'm gonna show you guys what I was able to come up with. Do remember though, if you do use your sister's room, always clean up after. I'm a good brother. Unless I break this mirror. Okay, so we are here uh, back in the computer. We've imported pretty much all of our self portraits. So now it's uh, editing time. So we're just gonna speed through this and I'm gonna show you guys the results. Okay, so done the edits. That was really fun. I'm gonna show you guys some of the top photos from this photo shoot. Let me know which one is your favorite, please, in the comment section below. I'd love if you guys could also help me vote which one I should actually make my profile pic. So we have this one here. This was just getting started. This one here has a Zoe Akiko's preset. If you haven't checked those out, go check them out. I got this one right here with the leaf in my mouth. I thought it was kind of cool. I got this one as well with the leaf. This was actually added with one of my fall presets um, called Ember, meant for fires and stuff like that, but it worked pretty well around here. And then we got this one here, a lot more red. This one was also edited with one of my fall presets called Ruby. It's um, all about those reds, as you can see. We have this one here. I don't know if I like this edit too much. I think my face is a little bit too orange. This one here, this is actually Peter McKinnon's preset. I love this photo, actually. This one might be the winner for me. This one here as well, beautiful. These ones were so crispy. I love the way I use that glass. We got this one as well. This one right here, this one I was kind of messing around at the end. These were the last ones. Black and white seemed to work well. The colors weren't coming out super well. This one as well. This one right here, oh, there's actually some artifacts happening on this one. This one here, again, edited with my preset called Ruby, all about those reds. I actually like this one the most out of all my uh, ones. And then finally, this one right here. So let me know in the comments below which one you guys like the most. There's 16 of them. Comment one to 16 in the comments below, please. But yeah, that's pretty much the video. So please listen to the tips that I mentioned in this video. Also tag me with all the self portraits. If you listen to these tips, you should be able to take banging self portraits just like me, like in this video. Question of the day for you guys. What skill have you picked up in quarantine that you did not expect to pick up? I'm really curious. Someone said this quarantine has really made us learn a lot of new things. So I'm really curious what skill you've learned. So comment that below and also comment which profile pick you like the most. I know it's a lot to ask, but I do appreciate you guys so much. All 239 of you. It means actually the world that you guys actually give a shit about my life. So that's for the video. As always, like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed the stuff. I got one video coming out every week. Might boost that up soon, but I'm still in school, so it's kind of hard. But yeah, every Tuesday, the video is coming out. So check it out every Tuesday. You know all that jazz. Creators, keep creating. I'll see you guys next week. Peace.